about this time, but we're going to go ahead and uh, keep rolling so we can meet him and uh, and we'll sort that out in production later because uh, we definitely need to meet him. So tell us his name again, Clayton. Uh, so his name's been a long time um, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, we just call him Ben. But um, he's here, retired in Ocala. So, so when he injured himself, you know, they thought Hong Kong wasn't a great place for him to recover from his, his injury. And I said to him, look, if you fly him to Florida, he can have the rest of his life in a green, lush paddock in Ocala. And, uh, yeah, here he is. Can he come over? Is he all right to come yeah, over? Probably. Is he? Is he all right to come over? So um, how old is he, Clayton? Uh, yeah, good question. I think he's 24, 24 now, and he looks great for 24. You know, um, he he he's unreal. Like you know, when he comes in from the paddock, he comes in every on a daily basis during the day to get you know just get out of the the bugs and the heat really. Um, but uh, he comes into the paddock every day. He prances in, and he prances out, and. Uh, you know, he's, he's still full of life. He's not, um, Ellie was riding him every now and then when he came over, but we've got so many other horses that need working now. Um, he sort of has skipped that, but uh, every now and then we'll pull him in and put a saddle on him and ride him. And, and you should see, like he comes onto the arena, flicks his toes, he's sort of trying to prove that he, he could actually go and do it all again. But uh, yeah, there he is. Looks like he's How lovely. So he's gonna stay here forever with you. Um, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Until uh, until he moves on, but um, he'll he'll be he'll be here for for the rest of his life anyway. So list off again. What's he won? <laughs> well, he's he's got a host of a host of eventing wins. Too many for me to count. But um, his major ones uh, clearly was the five star at the Kentucky Horse Park um, and uh, for, for me to bring him over there and do that was a big deal because you know it costs so much to fly him over we were based in uh, in in the UK at the time he, he was my silver individual medal winner at the world championships um, the only one that beat him on that day was Zara Phillips uh, by point one or something it was so close um, but uh, infuriating but Hey, that's that's the sport, um, and he won the Samur uh, three-day event, another very big prestigious one, Chatsworth in the UK, um, and twice won the World Cup final. So he he just was an amazing horse. Always wanted to go and jump wherever I poke poked his nose and uh, he was a fancy horse on the flat he'd lead the dressage on a regular basis um, show jumping probably was not his best phase but you know he just had something extra when when it came to uh, <laughs> going into the arena he would just grow he'd get fancier and he knew when it counted you know when it counted he jumped clear so um, I'm going to hand you this. <laughs> I'm going round for a visit. <laughs> this is Clayton's wife, Lisa. Hi. How are you? Oh, how are you? Beautiful. Yes, you are. Let's see if he has any comments. <laughs> Do you have any comments? No. <laughs> he to eat. He's just going to try to eat the microphone. Oh. Yeah. He, he's You're got beautiful. a beautiful. Uh, Beautiful eye on him, and uh, he's still beautiful at. Uh, at he's uh, gorgeous. He's got a bit grey around his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first sign of he him. looks remarkably fit. Really. Yeah. He, but... he he's just and he's just a superstar. We love him. Ben, yeah, you're lovely, aren't you? <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> When was the last time he yeah, competed? He, 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 never was, be, he wasn't sweet when he, he was a younger horse. He wasn't sweet when he was competing. <laughs> um, I pe you know, I think in, in, the, in the early days of the event, you used to have roads, roads and tracks, then a um, steeplechase, then a, a, another roads and tracks, then you'd come into the 10 minute area before you went cross. You'd be 10 minutes in a, in, you know, in a, um, the box before you head out on the cross country. So he's kicked people in that 10 minute box while they've been walking him around. You know, he, he gets so fired up. Um, he was 
he seems sweet now, but when uh, he was actually quite a character and he, he had a lot of spunk and didn't always, he, he got so wound up and excited about going cross country, you know, sometimes to get him to the start box, that was a feat in, in, in itself. That was a more, more of a feat than jumping the fences when you got out there. Yeah, he just, he just got so uh, excited about it really. Thank you, Clayton Fredericks. Thank you, Lisa, Clayton's wife, and thank you, Ben, for the for the very special visit. Uh, a champion here in Ocala, retired at Clayton Fredericks Farm, uh, and we're going to have more with Clayton. Got lots more to chat to him about. I'm Louisa Barton with the Horse Talk Show. <laughs>